beginning of May, which means that it is Teacher Appreciation Week. And this year, more than ever, teachers deserve our appreciation and our thanks for all of the amazing things that they do. So today I wanna to share with you picture books and chapter books that you can read aloud that show how amazing teachers truly are. Let's jump right in. The first book that I have to share with you is a brand new book. It just came out this year and it is called A Teacher Like You. This is part of a series that also includes a boy like you and a girl like you. And I'm so excited that they came out with a teacher version as well. This one is really a wonderful celebration of all the ways that teachers help students bloom in the classroom whether it's helping them with reading, writing, or math, helping them develop their artistic or musical talent, or just having the patience, kindness, and showing students that they care. Teachers have this amazing power to change the lives of their students every single day that they walk into a classroom, and this book is a great way of showing this. I think your students will enjoy reading this, and I think you'll like it as well. The next book that I have is also part of a series as well, and this one is called Dear Teacher. There's also a Dear Boy and Dear Girl book. And again, I'm so glad they came out with a teacher version as well. This one is filled with gratitude. It's a heartfelt thank you to teachers for all that they do. And it really talks about all the different types of teachers that we run into throughout our lives, from the teachers in the classroom, to coaches, to mentors, all different types of teachers that help us throughout our lives. It's a really a tribute to all those who empower and inspire young children, and it is definitely a well-deserved appreciation. The next book that I have about teachers is one that I shared in last week's video when I talked about all the exciting books that you can read in the month of May. I'll leave a link to that right here. But this one is called Miss Brooks Loves Books. In this book, a librarian in a school is passionate about finding books that students love to read. There's one girl that she just can't find a book for. This girl wants to read, but can't find anything that she's interested in. And Miss Brooks doesn't give up. She is determined to find a book for the young girl in the story that she'll love to read. And you'll need to pick it up to see if she succeeds in finding just the right book for the young girl. I love how this book really shows that side of teachers, how they are so dedicated to helping students and they don't give up, they don't quit and they are just passionate about what they do. I think your students will enjoy reading this one. The next book that I have is one of my favorites, and this one's a little bit different. This story doesn't focus so much on the teacher, but as you read it, you'll see how passionate and wonderful the teacher is throughout the story. So this book is called Our Favorite Day of the Year. And throughout this story, the teacher truly wants to get to know each of her students and celebrate them and what makes each of them unique and proud to be who they are. I love how she truly empowers students and their identities and encourages them to share that with their peers. I think this is such a wonderful quality of teachers and it really shines through in this story. And I have a free interactive read aloud that goes along with this book and I'll leave a link to that video right here and in the description box down below. Check out that video and you can download the freebie to go along with this book. The next book I have I bet you'll be familiar with and a lot of teachers like to read this book at the beginning of the school year. But I think it also goes along well with Teacher Appreciation Week. This one is called First Aid Jitters. And in this book, someone is waking a person up for school and they don't necessarily want to go to school really nervous, they're afraid, they are eventually dragged into the classroom and we find out at the end that it's not a student that we assumed it was, it's the teacher who is nervous about the first day of school. And I think this is a great one to share with your students because it shows that even teachers get a little bit nervous and that we are excited but it will help ease the, that fear for your students as well. So a great one for the beginning of school but also to show a different side of teachers for Teacher Appreciation Week. Next, I have the book, My Teacher for President. This is such a cute story. It is told through the eyes of a student and this kid is comparing their teacher to the president and all of the roles that the teacher takes on and how similar it is to the president's job and how they think that their teacher would make an excellent president. And I love how it compares the two. If you look at through the pages, it compares the teacher's job to the president's job and how similar they are and how even though they are on different levels, they are doing very similar jobs. This kid thinks that their teacher is totally qualified to run for president. 
I also have an interactive read aloud to go along with this book and I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. So now I do have a few more picture books to share with you so stay tuned but I also wanted to share some novel read alouds for the upper elementary crew to share with their students for Teacher Appreciation Week. And the two novels I have both showcase two amazing teachers and the impact that they have on their students' lives. And both of these novels, I have read aloud discussion questions to go along with them, and I'll leave links to those both in the description box down below. So if you choose to read these books with your students, grab those discussion questions to have some awesome conversations with your students. The first book that I have is Because of Mr. Tarot. In this story, there's a fifth grade class that really grows into a community under the guidance of a slightly unconventional teacher. He's a fun teacher who introduces them to new ways of learning, but at the same time, make sure that he doesn't let them get away with too much and encourages them to work together and really pull out each of their individual qualities and strengths, something that all teachers are so amazing at. And I love how this book really shows how one teacher has such an influence on not only his class, but on the community as well. This is a great read aloud for you to share with your students. The next novel that I have is called Fish in a Tree. And in this story, Allie is a student who has gotten through many years of school hiding her inability to read. She uses some pretty unique distractions to get away with this. And it's not until a dedicated new teacher comes into her classroom to see the creative girl that lies underneath the troublemaker that everyone else sees. And this novel shows how amazing it is that teachers can help students build their own confidence and help kids reach their full potential. This is a great book to share with your students as a read aloud. Okay, now I have a few more picture books to share with you and I wanted to save these to the end and group them all together because they're all by the same author. And this author very often writes about the teachers that helped her become the person that she is today and helped her understand her own potential and believe in herself. And if you've read any of her books before, you may have guessed that I'm talking about Patricia Polacco. And her books really allow her readers to look at her childhood and be inspired by the teachers that she had. In her stories, we truly understand how she felt as she struggled through school with a disability. And we learn about the teachers that really cared for her and tried their hardest to help her through her journey. And throughout her books about the teachers that inspired her, Patricia Polacco refers to herself as Trisha. So at first glance, you might not realize that they are about her, but all of them are true stories based on her own childhood. The first book that I have is The Art of Miss Chu. After spending a summer with her grandmother, Trisha discovers that she truly wants to be an artist, but there is not an art program at her school. So her teacher encourages her to join a high school art class. In this art class, Miss Chu helps Trisha learn the language of art and pulls out the creative side of her. So even though she struggles with reading and writing in her regular classroom, she really shines in this art class. That she gets a new teacher who thinks that the art is actually distracting her. Can Miss Chu and Trisha convince the school board to let her stay in the art class? You'll have to read the book to find out. A powerful book by Patricia Polacco about a teacher that inspired her to become the artist that she is today. The next one that I have is Mr. Wayne's Masterpiece. This one celebrates the lifelong impact of an amazing teacher. Public speaking terrifies Trisha, but she ends up in a drama class. Mr. Wayne understands her fears and allows her to work backstage as they prepare for their production Trisha learns all of the lines just by being around the actors, but then the night before the production, disaster strikes, and Trisha needs to stand in for somebody. Again, can she do it? Can she face her fears? Can Mr. Wayne encourage her and persuade her to overcome these fears? Again, you'll have to read the book to find out. The next Patricia Polacco book that I have is an A from Miss Keller. This story is a tribute to a teacher who inspired Patricia Polacco to become the amazing writer that she is today. Miss Keller is a demanding, tough teacher who pushes her to write with emotion because she knows that it's in her and that it can be pulled out. She encourages her to improve on her own strengths and to pull those emotions from within. And if you've read this story or any of Patricia Polacco's books, you know how amazingly she writes with emotion in every single one of her books. 
I like how this book shows students how teachers are going to challenge them, but it's for their own good. They need to learn to allow teachers to push them towards that excellence, to help them step out of their comfort zone, which can be scary, but can have an amazing impact. The next Patricia Polacco book that I have, I told you that she had a lot of books about the teachers in her life. So this one is Thank You, Mr. Falker. And it's the real life story of a dyslexic girl and the teacher who would not let her fail. Patricia loves to paint and draw, but the words are a jumble in front of her eyes. And her grandparents are always talking about how wonderful reading can be, and she wants it to be wonderful, but she truly, truly struggles. But then Mr. Falker steps in and recognizes this dyslexia that she struggles with and helps her to overcome it. Another great Patricia Polacco book that celebrates teachers and how wonderful they are in students' lives. So that is my collection of favorite books to share for Teacher Appreciation Week. Teachers truly are amazing. And these books show how incredibly impactful they are. Whether it's in a silly or serious way, teachers inspire students every single day. So if you are a teacher, thank you for all that you do. And if you're not a teacher, make sure you use this week to thank one in your life. I hope that you'll get a chance to share some of these books with your students. I will leave links to each book in the description box down below to make it easy for you to grab them. And if you enjoyed any of these, give this video a thumbs up and then hit that subscribe button down below because I'll be back next Sunday night with more book ideas and read aloud tips that you can use in your classroom right away. Have a great week. And this one, oh, you need to be quieter, please. Excited that there. Dedication. Another Patricia Block.